Greetings all, Fanny here for Gemini's Weekend Message. Gemini, I hope you guys are having a good weekend. Oh my. I, I feel as though perhaps Gemini is not having a good weekend. So we have the Four of Swords. Uh, a lot of mental turmoil could be leading to insomnia, long nights, restlessness. Just a lot of head noise going on. We have the Devil and the Six of Crystals in reverse. The Devil is usually associated to dark energies, stagnation, um, fear, doubt, limitations, greed, shadow. Someone keeping like their thumb on you is kind of what I'm feeling. Like Someone wants to keep you where you are so like they're undercutting your wins they're underselling the work that you have done they're undervaluing everything that you have put into yourself they are trying to make you feel like you can't do what you want to do because they are a narcissist that are afraid and lonely and weak themselves so they thrive on making other people miserable. Trust me, honey, I have dealt with way too many of these kinds of people in my life. I have danced with this devil before, and the only thing that, like, changes them is you standing up and saying, no, you're not going to do that to me, or just saying, fuck you all together, and I'm going to make my life anyway. I'm going to shine anyway, and there's nothing that you can say or do to stop that because you are weak and I am not. I really admire Gemini's strength here. Yeah, look at that page of diamonds. You have something beautiful to create. Despite what the world or these people have tried to do to you, try to take from you, you are creating and fostering something beautiful. And I absolutely love this. You have so much power. Gemini. This is a lot of like entrepreneurial, um, self startup, self innovative. Like, I'm going to write and draw my own book. I am going to create my YouTube channel, do it that one weird hobby that, you know, I'm really good at and not many people really like. It's not something that I can really get an outside job with, but it's what I want to do. So, by the gods, I'm going to make it happen. And you are going to make it happen. You started with a dream and an idea. And it will become something that is not just bountiful and prosperous. But securing and rewarding. And it will be so much more than the doubt, blame, or just negative and petty remarks that this devil would be laying upon you. Resting is very important right now. Gemini because especially say you're just with the artist writer analogy you're creating your own manga story or your own like children's book kind of story that's a lot of work to undertake because you're not just writing and drawing it you have to make sure they line up together you have to make sure things are coordinating and cohesive through all the pages and then finding a place to produce it and editing it all together. There's a lot of work that goes into what it is you're going to do and you're going to find more and more work every single day. It's worth it because that security, you know you have it. You know it's not something someone can take away from you. It's not a job someone can have when they're having a bad day and want to ruin someone else's life that has always been like my biggest fear with working a job for someone else is that at any moment they could tell me i i don't have a job and that has happened before i've gotten a call in the middle of like just me doing my thing at home and my boss tells me like you you know don't bother ever coming back because we don't need you anymore and that's terrifying and i believe that was actually the last proper job I had before I started taking my business like my main priority you have it's not time yet things are being woven much like with the, the page of diamonds here she is pregnant that child that dream is not ready things are being working together things are being connected and aligned so 
keep moving forward. Keep working on the things that are making you happy. Keep honing your craft, getting better, developing the story, creating a full outline, whatever it is. Keep working because now is not the time for stagnation to wait for things to happen to you. You work on yourself and co-create with spirit and wonderful blessings happen. You have Star Brothers, Horus Energy, Protection, Loyalty, Safety, and Trust. Horus is watching over you because you are worthy of protection. They're watching over you and protecting you from these devils, warning you of when something is coming in that could be upsetting. You have perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out. Common ground. It's almost like this devil is like... That really petty and bitchy older sibling that is always like nitpicking and poking at you what you want and like they went out and like they did the college thing they did the job thing and they married the the person of the desire and they're just looking at you as like hey what have you done you're still you know working at the bookstore or uh you're still playing around with that art tablet they are always going to say something to undermine you, to cut you down, because you dared to do something differently. You dared to dream of a different possibility than what they accepted. And their ego does not like that because they were too scared to do something they really wanted to do. And in, in many people, when they feel fear, they react in anger. You have the great severing, Mars energy, conflict, <laughs> anger softening to love i was literally i had this card in my hand and i didn't even look at it i looked at the image but i didn't look at the words but literally they are angry separate yourself from them as much as you can if you can't do it physically separate yourself from them energetically you can do cutting tie spells you can do visualizations where you literally cut off their energy from yours I, I feel a lot of similarities with Gemini situations and some of the things that I have gone through myself. Where'd you go? Yeah, this could definitely be a family situation with the family crest. This is what ran and fell into my lap. It could definitely be a family situation. You have the dragon that came out, but I actually sort of see this more as a Kelpie. Which is sort of like a Irish water horse. That's sort of what I feel with this instead of a dragon is a Kelpie. So take that if it resonates for you. You have be strong and courageous. I wish this thing would focus better. You also have remember what's important to you. And there is a bird on the back side. I really feel like freedom and the ability to be free and go where we need to go is part of what is important to us. Ooh, you have, I do. So this is really a promise. It doesn't have to be a wedding proposal, but it could be somewhere along your path. You might find your one special person, but really it is, I feel a promise. And this is a promise to you to choose joy to go after your happiness to go after your dream you are a treasure my love you truly are there are gifts of the earth when we are stressed and we are in moments of high anxiety and fear spending some time in nature but things are being woven together my love and they are coming together faster than you may feel they are because we want everything instantly. We want instant gratification. Especially if this is a situation that we have been dealing with for a long time. But it will take time. It will take growth for you to become who you're supposed to be. To receive those blessings. That is the point of your journey. That is the point of this path that we walk. Is to find out who we're supposed to be at the end of the road. And that means who we are now is going to have to change. And we have to be comfortable with releasing that. Have a beautiful day, my love.